Hey, happy Wednesday. I have been, I don't know about you guys, but like winter's going really slow. January seemed to go slow, but my weeks are going, it's like the days go fast, but then they go slow. I mean, like, I, don't, I mean, really the weekend, like, I think I said this on Monday, like Monday happened, but I just woke up and it was Friday and I don't know what happened to my weekend and anyways that's the way I've been <laughs> that's the way it's been um hopefully tomorrow I'll catch up a little bit but right now not so much so I was on my way home from work you know that whole like 40 minute commute thing sucks but it's awesome for two things one Marco Polo and two um audible so I was listening to uh leaders eat last by simon sinek um it's really good and so is his um start with why if you haven't read those put them on your list they're fantastic uh but anyway so he was talking about serotonin and oxytocin which he refers to as the selfless the selfless chemicals i believe is what he called them anyways um, the whole idea is that serotonin and oxytocin are released when we do things that connect us to other people. So, um, example, new moms snuggling their babies or even moms snuggling toddlers, young kids, um, that gives you a burst of oxytocin, um, hugging, hugging is an oxytocin release, um, <clears throat> He gave some other really good examples too, but basically serotonin and oxytocin um, are released in your body when you do things that are about connecting, about supporting someone else, um, about being supported by other people. So I just thought it was really interesting because basically what he said was, the reason for our for having a culture, the reason for having communities, the reason for having tribes, that all comes from this release of serotonin and oxytocin. And that, of course, made me start thinking because horses are herd animals, right? Yeah. And uh, turns out it's the same type of function for horses and dogs and people. So it's like we were literally made to work with these animals because their biological responses are the same as our biological responses. They are wired for teamwork as we are wired for teamwork. Okay. Now, obviously, it's not that simple, right? Like you have to understand your horse um, and how they think because they are prey animals. We are predators. Dogs are predators. So it's a little bit easier with them to some extent. But I just thought it was really interesting that we were literally created in a way that we would, um, that our interspecies work would actually be supported, which is <clears throat> we do get serotonin releases from connecting with other species, not just with humans. So it's any way that you can create a bond. That's where you're going to get that rush. Plus, um, if you're competitively working with horses or dogs or other herd pack animals, then you've got a whole nother set of hormones that come into it. Um, not hormones, I'm sorry, chemicals, endorphins, and um, <clears throat> things like that, because you've got your dopamine that comes along for everything when you're like setting a goal and hitting a goal. Or even like creating a checklist and checking things off your list. That is a dopamine hit when you're like, check, done. So when you can check, done stuff with your animal, um, you're getting all kinds of releases. So that's why we're crazy horse people um, if you're competitive. If you're not competitive, then you're just a crazy horse person because you are, is what it is. <laughs> Says me. Anyway, um, so yeah, not like a huge topic today, but I just thought it was really interesting and I thought I would share because it's what I do. 
So that's that's the that's the facts. That's the status. That's where we're at. Um, we were actually made to work with animals. They were work, made to work with us, not just in the fact that they serve a function that suits us, but biologically speaking, we trigger each other to release chemicals that make us happy, snuggly, cuddly, lovey, all the things. So that's it. That's all. Have a fabulous Wednesday night. And um, if by chance also while we're talking about like things that make us feel happy, lovey-dovey, building relationships and all that. If you haven't heard yet, I am running an adventure where we're, I've got an adventure going in a group. Uh, it's an adventure from outburst to peace. So this is a lot about my journey from being a rage filled dragon monster to um, a peaceful person. <laughs> it sounds rough. It was rough. Um, but anyway, so I've got that going on in a Facebook group and that will be linked uh, to this video here. And you should jump in on that. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be blessed with the presence of a boundaries boss who is coming in to talk to us literally about setting healthy boundaries and what those look like. And y'all, I just have to say, you need to get in on that because when I first heard her talk about those boundaries um, and like what makes healthy boundaries and what makes unhealthy boundaries, I was a little shocked because there were things that I was like, oh, like I really thought that I had that under control. Turns out <laughs> there's always room for improvement. So um, yeah, jump into that group. It is Heart Centered and Intentional Horsewomen on Facebook. I will link it here. Uh, actually, JK, link in bio, y'all, because I can't link it here. So that's it. Anyways, have a fabulous Wednesday night and I will catch you tomorrow.